This video is courtesy of Martin Logan, the world's leader in handcrafted electrostatic and folded motion loudspeaker technology for audiophiles and home theater enthusiasts. Hey, I'm Andrew Gash for Audioholics. Today we're looking at the new OPPO BDP-103D. Now the D stands for Dolby Visual Presence, or DVP. This is a brand new video processing technology that enhances depth and detail by looking at the luminance information on the fly and modulating the pixels to create better contrast and definition. DVP isn't over the top, actually, in fact, you may not even be able to see it if you don't really know what you're looking for. Fortunately, the BDP-103D gives you a button on the remote which lets you engage and test the various Darby modes. There's three, high def, gaming, and full pop. I tried all three, and here are my thoughts. High def mode made for the most detailed improvements without causing unnecessary artifacts at lower levels. Gaming mode also worked well, but it seems to favor edge detail more and may not be the best for Blu-ray movies. Full pop mode is designed for standard definition video, and it caused significant blurring of edges when it was turned up higher than 50%. Overall, I have to say that Darby Visual Presence performed a natural contrast and edge enhancement that goes well beyond the simple pixel-based computations that we've seen with other video processors. I think the maximum you want to set Darby, at uh, practical use settings at least, is around 50%, though it loses all artifacting completely around 35%. I played a lot of source material on this uh, BDP-103D, including the fifth element in Blu-ray. Engaging and disengaging Darby visual presence let me see how DVP added considerable life to the early pyramid scenes in the movie. Later, when we got to the big onboard uh, ship battle featuring the, the, bang, the, the, the bangle, the bad guys, I really felt the clothing, faces, and environments were rendered with a whole lot more depth and richness. For most of the viewing tests, I kept the setting at around 35% to avoid unnecessary artifacting. You can blow up a DVP pretty easily if you crank it up to its full 120%. It's like chocolate. <laughs> I like it, but I don't want a swimming pool full of it, you know? Hmm. Oh. Anyway, I also loved the demo scenes of the Spears and Munsell 2nd Edition HD Benchmark Disc. I also ran the disc through the OPPO BDP-103D to see if Darby had any negative effects on overall video processing. I didn't notice anything changing with respect to deinterlacing, luminance, tests, or color balance, but Spears and Munsell gave us some really great test material. The scene in the lighthouse montage where there is a pebble beach area was particularly helpful in showing off the ability and enhancement of Darby visual presence. Trees, grass, close-up facial detail, and any complex or contrasty areas of an image are really the first to pop with this processing technology. It's like good cheese. It just gets better and makes everything else better. <sighs> We've already reviewed the OPPO BDP-103, and you can check out that review by hitting the link in this article. The written review of the BDP-103D also includes my thoughts on the remote and the new OPPO remote app. And in conclusion, I think that what really impressed me overall was that it didn't blow out either my color settings, my contrast, or brightness calibration. I like that it's subtle and hard to discern without a trained eye. The alternative is the equivalent of 3D movies that constantly poke sticks and swords out at the audience saying, look at me, I'm 3D, isn't this cool? Darby Visual Presence is a more humble technology. And that's why it's probably going to take off and have staying power. At least I sure hope so. If you are already committed to having the best possible video in your home theater, the OPPO BDP 103D is going to get you there. This player costs $100 more than the standard BDP-103, but if you want the best, you probably should stop watching this video and go order it. I don't think you're going to get a better picture, and $599 may seem like a lot, but with 4K nowhere near production, this may be the last player you need to buy for a good long time. So what Blu-ray player do you use? That's our question for this video. It's simple, but hey, we got to know. So leave us a comment on our YouTube video and also, of course, be sure to visit us and like us on Facebook for the latest home theater reviews and product info.